So what makes a business wallet? You're not sure? Well, let's see if we can find out with a look at the business wallet by Harbor London. That's right, the one spelled with an E instead of an O. London. 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 London? Yes, London. You know, fish, chips, cup of tea, bad food, worse weather, merry fucking poppins, London. As mentioned, this is Harbor London. Let's open this up here. All right. Interesting packaging. It's kind of fun to open that up. And looks like there's something else in here. Oh, nice little card wallet. All right, we'll set that aside. That is, get this packaging out of the way. We've got some tissue paper. And, all right. There is the wallet. Let's take a look at this. This is the gray and tan combination. It also comes in black and black and tan and gray. So everything you see here in gray becomes tan, tan becomes gray. So I, I like the multicolor option here. Very, very thin, really thin. Let's look at these sewing around the edges. Not too bad. Very businessy. Hmm. See what the billfold pocket shows us. Interesting features. I just, uh, it's just so thin. All right. So did you catch what made this a business wallet yet? Yeah, I didn't think so. As we can see, there are no features on the exterior. So if we move to the interior, we immediately see we have one, two, three, four card slots. And uh, looks to be maybe one to two cards per slot. We then have this interior card storage right here with a pull strap. So more archive cards, those kinds of things you would put in here. Now if we move to the interior, let's kind of flip it over this way, we seem to have a hidden pocket slot right here, or card slot, hidden card slot. That uh, cards go in vertically. We have a SIM card holder right here. If we move over further, we have another pocket, but it has a flap for protection. If we lift this up, uh, we have a, another slot. This could be for another card. I imagine you could put coins in here if you wanted as well. And then we've got a very useful two compartment billfold pocket area with this flap that goes over it to protect it. Very reminiscent of on other wallets we've seen, especially from Bellroy. So you have the ability to store cash, different currencies, or you can store receipts, for example, with cash and I think that's kind of maybe where we get the business. I'm not sure. And that's a quick review of the features. Measures 4.8 by 3.8 by 0.3, and it weighs 51 grams. That's actually pretty light. Are you looking close enough? Really? Come on, look more closely. Business is all over this thing. Okay, there was a lot going on here. Company recommends up to 12 cards, which I think you can easily accommodate. I put in seven here. You notice they kind of will slip out uh, a little easier, so they're not so hard to extract. And really, minimalist card carry on this is five, seven's reasonable. I have seven in here, and it doesn't seem to be a problem at all. Actually, I have eight. I put one in the hidden card slot right here. It's made, uh, designed in the United Kingdom and made in Spain. It's made from a premium full grain leather it's cut very thinly to achieve a slim functioning wallet. It's very similar to how Bellroy cuts its leather and it gives them lots of options in design. Now the edges are rolled, meaning they're rolled over and then sewn. And we see that we've got some good uh, reinforcement sewing in the areas that we would expect. And the edges are painted. Now all this lining in here that we see, take a couple of these cards out right here. We have lining that's in between uh, all of these card slots and actually there's two pieces if you put your finger in here and rub 
there is a separate lining piece on this side versus this that helps from a friction perspective. And if one begins to wear out from, from utilization, then the other one will still be there to protect it. We pull the strap out with the cards that are in here. And uh, boy, that was a little hard getting cards in here. And I'm just wondering if this is the way that they prefer to put them in. I, I guess you could do it horizontally. It's, it doesn't seem to be the most common way to do it. But it was a bit difficult to get in here. And there's a reason for that. It's uh, this bridge right here. If I can show you from the, the light. That bridge right there uh, it does not have any reinforcement on either side. That means that over time, as that is pulled, it will it possibly could begin tearing away. And as you can see, it creates this kind of bubble here. And that's what interferes with cards when they go back. The other thing I noticed on here that I didn't quite like the most is you can see the fraying from the uh, nylon that uh, it came this way. I didn't do anything more, obviously. You saw me open it up. And so the nylon uh, fraying isn't really attractive. That isn't something that I really like to see and didn't really impress. So let's put the strap back into play right here. Open this up. You saw that we put some coins uh, in this side right over here, and I'm interested to see if the flap is working. And it is. The flap is still in place. And honestly, you saw the measurement on this. It was still very thin with 10, 10 notes, uh, 8 cards, 3 coins in here. It's, it is impressive about how thin they are able to make this particular wallet. It is priced for $106. Mm, that's US dollars. Uh, of course, this is a European co uh, company. As mentioned, very being very thin, this is perfect for a rear pocket. It's a little large for front, but definitely works well in a suit coat placement in a pocket there. And the interior card slots, I think, are very well placed. They all stack. The cards don't have any issues uh, standing on top of each other. Easy access to get your cards out using your thumb, of course, uh, or your finger. No, no complaints. And it does take on some of the characteristics of the Bellroy Hide and Seek. You can see that we've got the front card slots in here. You open this up, it does have a two, a two pocket billfold area in here. But it also begins to incorporate some of the features of the coin pocket and others where you have that coin flap in here and that area as well as a hidden, coin, or a hidden card slot in here. And what really engaged me with this wallet is honestly the super thinness of this, how, th how slim it is, and the leather actually feels really good. It's got a, a really nice tactile feel. It doesn't feel super thin. You can see the grain in this wallet. You can see that it does have a bit of a tooth to it, which does feel good. And if this wallet gets thick, it's going to be due to you stuffing it, not because it came as a thick wallet. All right, so what makes this a business wallet? Well, the name, of course, duh, I mean, Almost any wallet could be a business wallet. It's really in the eye of the beholder. Now on to the final score. For quality of four, price of two, little expensive. Features of four, usability of four, easy to use, uh, all kinds of things you can do by way of features in this, and perception of three. That gives us a final score of 35 out of 50. Thanks for sticking around. Look at this video next if you like this one, and we'll see you in the next review, or compare, or top video. We're doing lots of those these days. Bye.